guys, thanks for watching. I'm Ellen and today we're going to be doing a sequence specifically geared towards those of you who are dealing with chronic fatigue syndrome. Now this is good for anybody if you just are feeling a little low on life energy today, even if you don't have CFS, you're welcome here as well. Um, so a couple things, take as many breaks as you need, come back to the breath, that's why you're here. Also, it'd be good to grab a prop either a yoga block or a rolled up blanket or even just like a couch pillow, anything like that to just kind of prop yourself up. We might need it later in the sequence. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. All right, let's get started. So let's begin in a comfortable seat, cross-legged. You can sit with your back against a wall or against a couch if that feels a little bit more supportive for your spine or just straight up and down. Wherever you are, roll your shoulders back once lifting up through the crown of your head a little bit. And then on an exhale, just kind of settle down into your hips. So see if you can feel those contact points on the floor. Maybe rocking just a little bit side to side, connecting down into the earth. And close your eyes down. Just kind of checking in with your breath. Trying to feel your way into your body, feeling all those little subtle sensations that you may not be aware of through most of the day. Getting yourself out of your head and into your body. Taking slow, smooth, steady breaths. And then on your inhales, see if you can bring your attention to the top of your head, just above the top of your head, to your crown chakra. It's an energy center just at the part where your head sort of meets the rest of the universal energy. Feel that kind of lifting up, breathing into that space on your inhales, and then letting it just relax on your exhales, like light or water kind of just falling down. Just back and forth. Inhaling up into that space and exhaling, bringing that energy down into your body. Now as you breathe, see if you can feel your attention on your third eye chakra. It's the point right in between your eyebrows and then back, so it's in about the middle of your brain. It's where your pineal gland is. It's the part of your brain that responds to light. It's our center of intuition, of focus. See if you can take a few breaths into that space. Maybe inhaling up through the crown of your head, up towards the center of the universe, and then on your exhales into that space in the middle of your brain. And then wait for an exhale. Gently drop your chin down to your chest. Inhale, roll your right ear to your right shoulder. And then exhale, bring it back down. Try and keep your shoulders back if you find yourself really rounding forward. Try and keep the rest of your spine nice and long and supportive. And then take your inhale over to the left. And back and forth, coordinating the motion with your breath, however feels the best for you. No rush, nice and slow and steady. Feeling your jaw relax. So you're still feeling like that crown of your head sort of reaching up and away from you in this whole sort of sphere back and forth. Half sphere. Just a couple more little neck rolls. It feels good. You can graduate to sort of full circles now, lifting all the way up, chin tilts up, maybe head back a little bit, but not too much, and then back forward. And wait for the full completion of your circle before you switching direction, taking it to the other side. Feeling all the muscles in your neck and your throat and your face opening up, relaxing. Good. 
couple more. And then inhale, return to center. Take a breath or two here just to notice the difference in your body. It's subtle, but it's there. The um, crown chakra at the top of your head, it's actually like an influx point where sort of the universal energy that we share with everything kind of comes in through our head. So just imagine like the universe is just bathing your body with energy and you've just opened up the channel for that. And then on your exhales, feel all of that settling down into the rest of your body. Just let your body integrate in. And then slowly, carefully find yourself onto hands and knees. So your hands are right underneath your shoulders. Fingers are spread out wide, like they're grabbing onto the earth, which is another source of universal energy. It comes down through our head and then up through our root chakra. That's how it works. So pressing into your hands, pressing into your knees. And then inhale, dropping your belly down, looking up, little arch through the spine. Exhale, belly rounds, or back rounds. Belly pulls in, head drops. Nice and slow, moving on your own breath. So again, with every breath, you're really just noticing the sensations that are happening in your body. You're feeling the energy moving around. The bigger and more powerful your inhales are, the more you can really breathe into your body, like more energy you can breathe into all of your cells. So really take the time now to do that. You're charging everything up. Massaging all of your inner organs, getting blood moving through your entire nervous system. And then wait for an exhale. Just sit your hips back towards child's pose. Face relaxes down towards the floor. Taking a couple breaths without moving here, just feeling. Letting your body integrate the effects of even just that subtle movement. And then here, staying in your child's pose, on your inhale, you stretch your fingers forward towards the top of your mat so your shoulders kind of lift up and away from your spine, like you're reaching, you're creating energy in your arms. And then on your exhales, you relax it down and see if you can sit your hips a little bit heavier towards your heels. So it's a really subtle motion, but you're still using your breath. You're still creating space, opening up, expanding on your inhales. And then you're letting your body take it in on your exhales. If it's too much pressure in your neck or in the tops of your shoulders to be reaching out and away from you, like in front, you can also bring your arms out to the side and do the same thing. So your arms, inhale, stretching away, fingers spread, exhale, relax everything down, let your body drink it in. So it really doesn't matter so much what we're doing with our physical bodies. It's all about how much we breathe into it. That's the yoga. That's how we create change. That's how we transform our energy state, which then interferes or integrates into our physical state. Good. And then wait for an inhale. Come on back up, hands and knees. And then you switch to lying on your back. So have your prop nearby, I like kind of a folded blanket for this one, just so that way you don't have to get it later. And then settle everything down, stretch your legs out, 
stretch your arms out to the side first and actually stretch your legs out so they're about shoulder width apart on the mat, about as wide as your mat. And then take a big inhale like you're reaching out through your heels, so your toes are reaching up towards the ceiling, you're reaching out back behind you through the crown of your head, out through your fingers and then just exhale, let gravity take over. And again, just checking in, feeling from the inside all the way down into your fingers and toes, just collecting all of that energy and just breathing in. If you're not really into all the energy talk, you can just ignore it, just focus on your breath. And then bring those legs back together. Take your arms up overhead, walk your feet towards the left just a little bit and then take your right ankle cross it over your left ankle so it's like if you do it at one point you won't feel it too much but then if you move it just over a little bit you'll start to feel this stretch all through here opening up and then same with your arms kind of reaching your left arm over and then reaching your right arm to kind of hook around that wrist you can even just kind of hook around that elbow if you want for a little bit more in the shoulders you can grab onto your right elbow with your left hand and reaching up and over so there's a nice big sense of openness of expansion on the entire right side of your body and then inhale reach out through your heels reach out through your hands or whatever the topmost part of your little crescent moon shape is and then exhale into it so take a few breaths here, just breathing into that entire right side. And then on all of your exhales, see if you can bring your attention to your solar plexus. It's the space right where your rib cage meets, right underneath your heart, kind of in the middle of your belly. So big inhale through your entire body and then exhale, let it all settle down in that solar plexus area. Keeping your breath slow and steady and smooth. If the mind drifts away, just bring it back to your breath. It's going to do that. That's okay. Just bring it back. This practice helps cultivate mental focus. Taking all that leaked energy that usually our mind just goes in all these different directions. We're bringing it back here, bringing it back to the moment where we can use it. And then stretch your arms back towards center first and then uncross the legs. Maybe take one sort of big snow angel breath in and then let it out before taking it to the other side. So your feet now walk over towards the right, hook that left foot up and over. Arms come up and then over towards the right as well. Maybe grabbing onto that right arm with the left hand. It doesn't need to be a big stretch, just enough that you can really feel the difference from side to side. So now you get to breathe into your entire left side. So you can take a few breaths actually stretching out. So on your first couple of breaths, really inhale into your fullest expression of the pose, exhale, settle into it. And then you, once you've sort of set it up with your breath, you can just sort of let gravity do the work. Your body knows how to heal itself. It knows what it needs. So you can just let it happen. And then just to give your mind something to do, inhale into that left side, exhale back to that solar plexus. So our solar plexus chakra, it's our third chakra, it's our natural energy source of will, of personal power, of energy. It's like our outward self, it's the self that we breathe and bring into the world. So it's a good place to just kind of get familiar with it first whenever you kind of work with energy centers usually we kind of can't really feel it but the more that you practice it it's um 
the more powerful it becomes and you, you can use it as a tool to kind of cultivate energy and bring energy into your life. It's a good way to kind of gain control of what energy you have available to you. So it's a nice thing to cultivate. And it's one of those things that until you really feel it, you can't really conceptualize it. So take my word for it or not, you know. And back to the breath. to stretch yourself back to center first in the arms and then through the legs. Stretch all the way out, being as big, as expansive as you can, like from one arm to the other is just miles and miles, and then relax it down, collecting things back towards center. So your left leg stretches out in front of you. Bring your right leg in, grab onto your knee, pull that in towards your chest as much as feels good. And then as big as breaths as you can, send them all the way down to the bottom of your spine. So you're breathing into that hip crease, into that sort of spot where there's pressure there. You're creating sort of some natural energy just into that whole hip crease there. So breathe into that. Relaxing your shoulders away from your ears. So your elbows kind of pull down towards your hips. So you're not clenching. And then you can take your left hand around that right knee and just pull it towards the side, reaching away with your right arm. Again, shoulder away from your ears. We want to keep our head and throat and all of that nice and relaxed so energy can flow. And then again, you use your breath for the first couple cycles to really set yourself up into a good place for you in a pose where you're feeling a little bit of a stretch, a little bit of a sensation, and then you can just relax into it. Just let your body, let your breath just do the work without conscious control of your, of your muscles there. So before you come out of this one, bring your attention into your hip, just kind of wherever you're feeling, if there's any sort of stretch or sensation along your hips, just sort of feel that because you're going to want to notice it in your next pose. And then pull your belly in just a little bit as you come back to center. And then extend that right leg up towards the ceiling. You can reach around and grab onto that thigh if you want. It's okay if your leg isn't totally straight, but you're going to just reach out through your right heel on your inhales and then exhale into your hip. So it's like all the feeling that you're feeling up in your foot on your exhales, it just like drains into your hip, which you were just sort of experiencing there. Okay. And then you can set that foot back down, switching it out. Maybe take just a breath at the end just to sort of integrate, let your body get used to your brand new right leg. And then wait for an inhale, stretch out through your right heel first, and then bring your left knee in, reach around your thigh or your shin, and pull that thigh in towards your body. Shoulders again, stay away from the ears so your spine is nice and long. Breathing all the way down into your belly, down into your pelvis, down into that hip crease. So 
So you're creating a little bit of energy and heat in your arms by pulling that leg down, but if it becomes kind of to where it starts to not feel good in your shoulders and your neck, you can ease off of it a little bit. But don't be afraid to kind of explore that, just sort of, okay, the more I kind of pull in, the more resistance I have to breathe into, you're not really moving anything, but you're creating these energy currents in your body. And then take your right hand, bring that left knee over and across into a nice big twist. Left arm reaches out. You can look towards the left. Keep those shoulders down and away from your ears. Slow and steady breath. Stay focused. If your mind needs something to do, breathe into all the outward corners of your body, through your fingers, through your feet, on your inhales, and then again exhaling into that solar plexus chakra area in the middle of your body. So breathing into that hip, feeling that little gentle sense of stretch there. And then pull your belly in as you bring that leg back up, extend that left foot up, right leg reaches out. Again, like your leg is just growing up to the ceiling, like your leg is super long, miles long, up towards the center of the universe. And then exhale, feel everything just dropping down into that hip a little bit more. So you can always choose. You can use your breath and really reach into the poses, or you can just kind of be there and let the pose just happen. You can kind of choose. Right, and then extend that leg long. So grab your block or grab your blankie or your pillow. Bring it right underneath your rib cage. So it's fully supported by your rib cage right underneath your heart. So your heart is lifting up towards the ceiling. Your arms can be kind of out towards the sides or wherever it's comfortable. I kind of like to be in this kind of like nice big expansive shavasana form here. So just so that it feels comfortable for your back so your head reaches down. If it's uncomfortable in your neck, you can put another little pillow underneath there if that's too much. And if this doesn't feel good, just don't do it. Just feel that gentle kind of opening through the chest, opening through the ribs. And then let's take a few rounds of what I call seven, seven, seven breathing. So you inhale for a slow count of seven or whatever count of seven works for you. And then you hold at the top for a count of seven, like your body's really big, feeling how your body's a little bigger when you're full of breath. And then exhaling for at least the count of seven, maybe eight, nine, ten, all the way out until you feel that pause, that stillness at the bottom of your breath. And then you can begin again for another count of seven. Holding at the top, feeling nice and big. And then when you're ready, exhaling out for the slow count of seven, eight or nine, however long it takes.
Continuing at your own breath for three or four more rounds. And then you can let your breath return to normal. You can either, if this is comfy with your heart lifted, you can stay nice and open or you can remove your block or blanket for your final resting pose. Maybe bringing your legs a little closer together, arms a little bit closer towards your sides if you like. And then just let your breath return to normal. Let everything go. Any excess tension just leaves your body so there's space for new life. and then completely relax, offering up a little bit of gratitude for you for showing up and doing your yoga today.